Superfoods are everywhere. They're all over the news, the internet, on the covers of magazines and in every aisle at the grocery store. But what are superfoods and what makes a food super? Find out today on The Younger You. I'm on top of the world, now I'm living. And the good just gets better, keeps a giving. Not even close to the end, it's just beginning. Life is getting lighter while the days are getting brighter, yeah. Welcome to The Younger You. Today we're talking about superfoods. What is a superfood? It's simply a nutrient-rich food considered to be especially beneficial for your health and well-being. In other words, they're just darn good for you. Today I've been joined by Kayla, our registered dietitian, to talk all about it and break the myths down. Let's get into it. What is a superfood? So like you said, a superfood is a food that is packed with nutrients. Uh -huh. It's got lots of things that are going to be beneficial for your health that'll help ward off disease. We tend to think of them as being things that are really exotic. You hear about acai and things that are difficult to pronounce, yeah. but they don't have to be. <laughs> so it's things that you probably already have in your kitchen or are in your grocery store. And this is something we're talking about today because we wanted to show people that they come in all variations, don't yes. they? It's not just about things you get in a little packet or in the freezer section, it's just everyday stuff as Exactly, well. exactly. Like I said, it's stuff that you probably already have in your kitchen. What sets them apart from other foods? Because there are so many foods, especially fruits and vegetables, that are good for you. So superfoods, the thing that's going to set them apart from other fruits and vegetables is that they're packed with nutrients. So they've got vitamins, minerals, and they've also usually got fiber. When you say they're high amounts of essential nutrients, can you just break that down into layman's terms? So the essential nutrients are going to be vitamins and minerals that our body can't make ourselves. So vitamin A, vitamin C, that's good for your skin health. Yeah. Um, also your immune system. There's going to be the B vitamins that are important for breaking our food down into energy. You also see minerals mm. like calcium and iron, magnesium, things that are important for us to get from foods. And then also fiber. That's another one that's really important. We all need a bit of fiber, let me yeah. tell you. Um, so talk <laughs> we to do. me. They tend to have anti-inflammatory effects. What, is, yes. what does that mean? Anti-inflammatory effects are so important because what we're finding is that most of the chronic diseases that we're seeing in our country right now, yeah. diabetes, um, heart disease, cancer, things like that, are partially caused by this chronic state of inflammation that we have. So these anti-inflammatory effects help to take away that inflammation. Antioxidants. Yes. Everyone knows about antioxidants, but I want you to talk to me in layman's terms but as well. What are they and what do they do? Antioxidants are important for our bodies because just from normal day-to-day -day living, from digesting food, from breathing in our polluted air, Anything like that, we're going to be causing what's called free radicals. They're these scavengers. They, they go in and they damage the cells in your body, and they can cause premature aging, they can cause cancer, and they can cause other diseases and inflammation. Antioxidants, they neutralize those bad free radicals. So they're, they're the army. Exactly. They're the army. So, yeah, they're the troops. That's exactly right. <laughs> so the free radicals are like these scavengers. They're trying to get what are called electrons and the antioxidants neutralize them. So they're the good guys. So these are working on the inside as well. And they're not just, you, you don't have to have a vitamin pill. No. It's just eating properly. And that's such a good point. So what we found in research is that when people take the pill form of an antioxidant, yeah. it actually doesn't help. They found that it can be harmful. Oh, really? Isn't that strange? So yes, it's when we eat foods that are rich in these antioxidants, they have these great health effects. They can help prevent cancer that kind of thing. But when we take the pill form, it's not as helpful. So it's eating the actual food. So you don't have to get something special like some kind of supplement. It's just about eating whole foods. Fantastic. I love it. Yes. Be a rabbit. <laughs> Be right. a rabbit. That's right. <laughs> Phytochemicals. Phytochemicals are plant substances. That's yeah. what it means. Um, oh, they're I thought it was some crazy type of ingredient. It does something. sound like it. It's got yeah. a fancy name. Plant substance is what it means. It's a chemical. They generally give plants their color. Yeah. So they're also antioxidants. They're also immune supporting, but they're colorful. So if yeah. you think about like beta carotene in um, carrots is what gives them their orange color. That's a phytochemical. Ah. Yeah. Is that why they say if you eat too many carrots that you turn orange? You can, actually. <laughs> yep, it would be those dang phytochemicals. But boy, you're healthy. <laughs> That's right. You're healthy. You can see them on the palms of your hands. Uh, yes. What are some examples that we don't know about that are superfoods? 
I think the biggest thing with superfoods is we don't realize that they're already in our pantry. Some of the examples of superfoods that are really hitting back into the market now is chia seeds. Chia seeds have been around for thousands of years. The Aztecs and the Mayas ate them. They're, it's the word for strength is what chia ah, means. Yes. Gotcha. Green. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. So they're these little seeds and they're great because you, your body will absorb them. Eat them raw or put them yes. into a dish? You can do both. Ah. So you can put them, sprinkle them on oatmeal for a little crunch or on your cereal, yep. or they'll absorb up to 12 times their weight in water. So they make like a, oh, wow. almost like a pudding or a jelly type. Yum. Yeah. Yum, yum, so they're yum. packed with fiber, um, packed with B vitamins, um, like thiamine, and then also they're packed with protein and then omega-3 fatty acids, which are anti-inflammatory. It's a good one. You need that. Now, yes. almonds, that, like they've been around for years. <laughs> but like we all yes. eat almonds. Like, yeah, exactly. What's in them? They are packed with nutrients. So they've got fiber, they've got protein. They've also got a lot of vitamin E, which is so important for your skin health. Uh-huh. Kale. So yes, kale is also, it's really similar with spinach, uh -huh. packed with iron, uh, calcium. It's also really high in vitamin K, which yeah. is really important for your bone health Huge. and also for clotting your blood. It's got in one cup more than seven days worth of vitamin K. In wow. just one little cup of kale. That's huge. Yes. Um, raw, eating it raw or... You can do both. Okay. Yes. Herbs, you say basil and parsley? Yes. Is that a superfood? Yes. Really? I know. You wouldn't think so. It's usually the little things that are on yeah. the side of your plate at restaurants. No, they're great for you. You should eat them if they're on the side of your plate. Wow. Um, they have, by weight, more nutrients typically than the vegetables that we think of. So parsley is packed with iron and calcium. Basil is found to have um, anti-inflammatory properties and has been shown to reduce cholesterol in lab studies. I love that. Yes. Berries, raspberries, blueberries. That's, that's a, a given, isn't it? So many antioxidants in those. Yeah. Another great part of berries is that they're low in carbohydrates and they're high in fiber. Yep. So they're great for someone that has diabetes because they're not going to oh. raise your blood sugar as much as other types of fruit that yeah. have more concentrated sugar. Okay. So they're good for a lot of different reasons. And then it's the pigment in like blueberries, it's anthocyanins that are a great antioxidant. So I'm listening to you thinking to myself, there's superfoods in just about everything we're eating yes. that's organic or raw or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes, it's gonna be whole foods that we already eat that are in your grocery store but already. Then, so why are we okay. eating so much processed food? That's a great question. I think sometimes it's convenient. Sometimes we just, we need inspiration to know what's good for us. The message I'm trying to get across here is I want it to be more accessible. Yes. I don't want people to think they have to get a pill to exactly. get the antioxidants or the latest cream to get an antioxidant. You won't need all those things if you're mm -hmm. eating colorful foods. Exactly, and that's what we found, is that eating the actual food is gonna be the most beneficial, and it's probably gonna be the easiest for you. So think about at lunch And cheaper. And cheaper. You're cheaper totally long-term. totally right, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. So sprinkling chia seeds on your oatmeal or on your cereal, putting it in as a soup thickener, you can do that. Um, having a salad for lunch and throwing in some spinach and kale. Having, like they're telling me to for yes, breakfast. Yes, or in your breakfast smoothie as they're telling you. Yeah, there are so many ways to do it. Um, adding spices, adding herbs, using that to flavor your food. Yeah. You can get this punch of like superfood, powerful antioxidants. I Just love that. Easy. Good job, good job. <laughs> Our chef Kimberly is working on making us a four course superfood meal. While she's prepping her food, I'm gonna go down to the grocery store to check out what shoppers are buying and how they can make their diets more super. See you after the break. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for updates on the show and join the Younger You conversation. It's giveaway time on The Younger You. This time we're giving away a Foreo Luna, a revolutionary anti-aging and facial cleansing system worth over $200. Check out theyoungeryou.tv forward slash contest for your chance to win. The definition of a superfood is a natural food regarded as especially beneficial because of its nutrient profile or its health protecting qualities. Welcome back. Superfoods lose their powerful benefits when paired with a diet full of junk foods. So I've gone downstairs. I'm trying to find a customer who needs a little help with their shopping and do what I'm calling a shopping cart ambush. Well, I've done it. I've met Jane and Mary and taken over their shopping trolleys to find out exactly what it is they actually buy. So let's start off with you, Mary. You've got an assortment here. Yes. Why do you think some of these foods are good for you? 
Well, because they say gluten-free on them. Okay. And why do you think gluten-free is good for you? Because it's not as processed. Okay, that's good. Okay. Yeah. We've also got, I've noticed that you've got almond butter. Yes. What do you use that for? Oh, everything. Do you? I just eat it with a spoon sometimes. Oh, right. So it's like Nutella. Yes. But on one hand, you've got the healthy. Yes. Then I see you've got the chocolate covered berries. Okay. But dark chocolate, because dark chocolate is good for you, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to come back to you on that. Okay. Do you feel that you're a pretty healthy type of an eater? Yeah. Yeah? How often do you eat superfoods? I don't know what's a superfood. You don't know what a superfood like is? Like fruits and stuff. Do you know what antioxidants are in oh, foods? Oh, yes. Like acai berries are a superfood. Ah, see? So you did know. I did know. You just know. didn't know what was here yes. as a superfood. So Mary, what here is a superfood? Uh, we've got the acai berries. Yep. Beautiful. The fruit juice. Yeah. Uh, lettuce. Is it 100% pure fruit juice? It's supposed to be. Okay. It says right there. Okay, yeah. good. Do you look at all the labels? I try to. Okay. Not right. every single one. All right. Good girl, good girl. What about you? What have you got? I looked at your trolley and I'm like, are you kidding me? You've tried to be good and you've got the fruits and the vegetables, but then I've got Oreos. I've got these donut thingies. What are they? Is it just your way of... Dark chocolate energy. Okay. Monster energy. Okay. How it many... says energy. But is it something that you would have how many times a day? Once a week. Oh, okay. So it's just in the fridge? Yes. It's just in the fridge? Yes. How many Oreos would you eat a week or a day? Two or three a week. Okay. That's all right because you're pretty fit. What do you see here as a superfood? Peanut butter. Okay. A whole jar of peanut butter, you think superfood? Maybe. Okay. Good. Oh, yum. These are dark chocolate pomegranate. Do you think they're good for you? I think they're better for you than cookies. Okay, what do you think? I agree, I think they're better than donuts. Okay, all right, but you still think it's a superfood? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. So, you think you've all eaten pretty healthily here, and well, this is what you would normally buy, yeah? Yes. So I'm gonna bring Kayla, our registered dietitian in, and she's gonna break it down. How's that sound? Perfect. All Perfect. right, let's go grab her. Shopping for superfoods can seem challenging. How do you even know which foods are considered superfoods? Superfoods can be as common as salmon, lemons and almonds. But here are some examples of superfoods that you may not have known about. Dragon fruit is a superfood that comes from a cactus plant. It's high in fiber and cleanses the digestive system. It also is high in essential vitamins, minerals and antioxidants that have powerful anti-aging properties. Coconuts are a very versatile superfood as you can consume their flesh, oil, milk or water. Coconut is known to increase energy, assist in weight loss, reduce cholesterol and stabilize insulin. Goji berries are one of the most nutritionally dense fruits on the planet. Goji can be consumed raw, dried or in a tea. These berries contain all of the essential amino acids and are high in protein and vitamin C. Mangosteen is a fleshy fruit that is typically eaten raw. This superfood can repair DNA damage and help maintain optical thyroid function. It is also good for your eyes and for preventing brain degeneration. Now let's check back in with Kayla to find out about some other superfoods that you can easily pick up in your grocery store. So we've got Jane and Mary still here and I wanted to go through their list. Yes. Now Jane was saying that she loves the white bread. Yes. What can we do in replace of that? Going for a whole grain. So yeah. this is a great seven grain, multi-grain bread. Uh -huh. And it's made with the whole wheat. So with the white bread, they're processing out all the good uh -huh. stuff. Notice how this is darker. So you haven't been a big fan of this type of food, have you? No. And why? Because I don't like all the nutty stuff. She there. doesn't like all the nutty stuff. None of the nutty stuff. Can you have a taste of it and tell me whether you like it now? Absolutely. All right. I hope that you do because that one is definitely a better option. <laughs> What do you it's think, seriously? Bad. It's really not bad. See, when I taste this, all I taste is nutty and it's like a meal. Yes, it's heartier. It's yeah. going to keep you fuller. Yeah. I did notice that you had... Yum! These are the best. Yes, they taste good, don't they? I know, but they're superfoods, aren't no. they? I think so. Yeah. 
they they're are. superfoods. It's tricky. Why? We're looking at the ingredients list. Okay. So we've got semi-sweet chocolate. What's the first ingredient of a semi-sweet chocolate? Semi-sweet chocolate. Sugar. Sugar. No one looks at the Dude. ingredients. Everyone looks at the nutritional factors. Those are actually, they're going to be fine, but treat them as candy because they're really just chocolate covered sugar. Oh, okay. I know. I know. I'm they're sorry. fine. I'm but sorry. They're not gonna, that's a bummer. Exactly. I know. <laughs> you actually told me that this was really healthy for you. Well, it's got 100% root juice. So. Okay. Big myth. Why? Okay. This has 104 berries per bottle. What does that mean? Plus other fruits. So that's not just berries in there. Oh. Think about trying sorry. to eat 104 berries. There's maybe. 30 in here. So oh. eating like four or five, you're probably not going to do that in a city. Per serving, there's going to be four teaspoons of sugar. It's coming from fruit, but since you're not eating it, taking in all the water Isn't and the fiber good for and you? all that stuff. Because it's sugar from fruit, right? That's true, but it's still going to affect your blood sugar. So eating that real fruit is going to be a less concentrated source of the sugar. Let's get to superfoods that you should be putting in your trolley. So one of them that you can do, kale. Kale is, it seems like a little bit scary. It's all buzzed about, but how do you eat it? It doesn't look that yummy. I know, it doesn't, does it? does it? You can do some amazing things. So, instead of your Funyuns that you have, put you can make these into kale chips and sprinkle some onion powder. And you sure got, it's not Bunyuns? You've got kale Funyuns. <laughs> yeah, so you can make kale chips, you can saute it, you can make it into a salad. Okay. A lot. We've also got some dark chocolate. So instead Which is of, on these, so we're of, getting it. Yes, that's true. This is a more concentrated gotcha. cacao. So you want to look at the cacao content. That's what's going to is be anti-inflammatory. Yes, chocolate Did is good it? for you, but in the right yes. amount. Oh. Yes. So you want to look for ones that have a high percentage of okay. cacao. That's what is in chocolate. That's a chocolate bean, basically. All right. When you look over here and you look at these things, do you think, oh, geez, maybe I should put them into my cart? Well, I like the idea about the chocolate and the berries separate. That's good. Do you? Because I do really like chocolate and the berries, but I didn't realize how much sugar was in Yes, it's tricky, And it's isn't because it? of the berries, not the chocolate. Mm -hmm. so. But are they full berries in there? No. They're chocolate-covered juice, and the first juice that's listed in them is actually apple juice, not even pomegranate juice. So there's pomegranate in there, but it's a little bit. <laughs> okay, I can see one more thing here that I want to talk to you about, and it is the popcorn. Now, I was told popcorn was very good for you. Yes. Lots of things in it that make you feel amazing. Yes. But when I saw this in Mary's trolley, <laughs> I thought, she said, but it's popcorn. <laughs> I went, um, I'm not an expert, but let's find out from the dietitian. Yes, you're absolutely right. Popcorn is good for you. It's a whole grain. But let's look at the other ingredients that are in here. It is going to be, what's the first ingredient? Oh my gosh, pure cane sugar. Isn't that good? <laughs> it's sugar. <laughs> See? You would well, that's think what I thought. Sugar is sugar. So, I know. Dang, Dang it. Oh my they also gosh. cleverly disguise it on labels as evaporated cane juice crystals. So, watch out for that too. That's not healthy. That's All sugar. right. Thanks, Kayla. And thank you, girls, for allowing me to take over your shopping cart. Hey, we're <laughs> heading back upstairs to see Chef Kimberly in the kitchen because she's preparing that superfood four course meal. Back up after the break. It's giveaway time on The Younger You. This time we're giving away a Foreo Luna, a revolutionary anti-aging and facial cleansing system worth over $200. Check out theyoungeryou.tv forward slash contest for your chance to win. Check out The Younger You website to watch full episodes, stay up to date on The Younger You Challenge and get useful tips and tricks to help you achieve The Younger You. Welcome back. Chef Kimberly is making us a delicious four course meal filled with superfoods. It smells amazing, Kimberly. Oh, thank you. Four courses filled with superfoods. Is it possible? And it's quite easy. Really? Yes. Okay, what are we yes. making first? Okay, so first we have a chickpea and basil hummus. Yes. Okay, so we've got these nice, you know, garbanzo beans, beans and chickpeas are the same thing. What's okay. what's superfood about them? Garbanzo beans are packed with protein, they've got lots of fiber, they've got some good fats, and they have tons of micro minerals. Okay, in. next. Okay. And then we are going to add some tahini paste, and that is just sesame seeds. Oh. Ground up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. They smell great. Um, some people will use this, you know, plain, like peanut butter or yep. dip crackers yep. and things in. And of course, we need our garlic. I've got to have garlic. Oh, which is also so good to have. It's yep. an herb and spice for your food. What have we got in here? Parsley. A parsley. Bit and this is, basil. Kimberly, this is what we were saying earlier on, that we forget that parsley is a superfood. Yeah. And, you know, fresh herbs are a great way to get that because you can even take something, you know, that maybe was made a few days ago and yeah. put a little fresh herbs in there and you've brightened it and made it ah, wonderful, just like that. Okay, all right, then what do we do? We're, we're blending it all up. 
Yes. I love that. Okay, our food processor. Yeah. Also, something that is a key in your hummus is you have to have the acid. Okay. The lemons. Yeah. Okay, and you want to zest. When you zest, you just want to get that yellow part, not the white. Okay. Why not the white? It's a bitter taste. Okay. Okay. And gives a little bit, gives it off. Citrus fruit. Yes. yes. Superfood. Yes. It helps you also absorb the iron that's in the parsley and the oh, basil yum. and in the kale. All right. Yep. Perfect. So what we do is toss all that in. Yep. Turn this bad boy on. Okay, so I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil in there. Yep. What that does is gives a nice mouthfeel to it and kind of binds everything in there Why is together. it you're nodding away? It's good for you. Yes, yes, heart healthy fats. It's also, you need them for absorbing some of those fat soluble vitamins that are in the parsley and the meat. Okay, perfect. All right, and that's that. Your hummus is ready that's to go. That's done? Done, finished. What am I eating it with? Beautiful colors. We are actually going to make some chia crackers right now. Okay, Kimberly, chia crackers. How do I make chia them? Chia crackers, okay. So we have fennel here. Fennel bulb, top, bottom, okay? We're gonna dump that into our blender. Fennel is similar to like onions or okay. something like that. Yeah. Good. Yep, they give it a little bit of a licorice. Oh, okay. I licorice. love that. Mm, they're delicious. Okay. Okay, some red peppers. Yep. Um, apples, because this gives you natural sweetness and kind oh, of yum. kills, you know, and blends really nice with fennel. And then I like these chopped tomatoes. You can do fresh, but this is actually a great dietitian's choice product because there's no sodium in there. Oh. Very little, little sodium. Excellent, yep. Yeah. Which, when you buy canned things or container things, sometimes there is a ton of sodium. Usually packed with it. Yes. Yep. So here, this is a product I use all the time. We want some fresh dill, of course our fresh herbs. I just okay. love the way you're just shoving all that in bit by bit. <laughs> Yeah. Right, and I'm getting a little Look full. At that. Oh. You're getting a little full I there, doll. But we'll throw the parsley in in a minute, okay? And then you're just gonna turn that on. But we blend all of that up, okay? And let it get going. And then we add it to our chia seeds. Next step, we've blended all that through, Kimberly. Yep. We've got that blended. So then you're gonna go ahead and take it, and you actually wanna strain it out. Ah. Okay. So, and then you can see I've still got some chunks there. Yep. That's okay, you can just push those chunks through with the spatula. Ah, uh, okay. gotcha. And I'm adding those now to the chia seeds because the chia will grow, what'd you say, Kayla? 12 times their size. They'll absorb 12 times their weight in water. That's a good thing. Yes, it's so great in your digestive system, in your stomach, it holds in the water and it makes you feel fuller. Love you don't that. need as much. Love that. Yeah. So once we get that, and you'll strain the whole thing out, okay? But um, once they start, they start to get gelatinous. Ah. So now we've got this fun gelatinous chia seed and all of our vegetables, okay? And that's our base. So then we go ahead and spread that out. On, on a pan. Yep. Uh -huh. And you want it thin. If it's too thick, you know, it won't dry out evenly. Okay, okay? perfect. And then pop that in your oven, 350 degrees, for about 20 minutes till it starts to crisp. And then you can pull it out. And because we're making homemade crackers, we don't want them, we want a rustic fun look yep. so that, you know, so you can break those apart and then dry them back in the oven for about 15 minutes. I love that. Okay, so you can see I just added onion, um, some celery, and then a trio color of carrots. And I love these carrots because they have the yellow, the dark red, and the regular orange. And so you're getting those nice colors in there as well as the different nutrients that come into play there. So I add a little bit of turmeric for seasoning and then we've got our thyme. Okay, you want a little bit of thyme in there. And then our black soybeans. Okay. So we'll go ahead and just kind of toss all that in. It's a soup, so you know, nice and easy. Another thing I want to talk about, we've got our chicken stock. And I love to use the unsalted, again, because that way you can control how much sodium is going into there. You want to let this go ahead and simmer, oh, for maybe about an hour, okay? Just long enough for everything to, the vegetables get to get soft and everything to get happy in there. We're gonna go ahead and toss our tomatoes in. And then we've got our kale, right? Um, I love the purple kale. Purple kale is just a little bit different. I like the colors. As a chef, you love colors, right? So about another 10 minutes there. Um, stir it all together and then you season with a little salt and pepper and you've got your soup, okay, with all of your super foods. So basically, really a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of our pan and we've got a nice sizzle. 
I like to do it, you know, pre presentation side first, down, so you can see the skin's up. We'll let that go for about two to three minutes, flip it another two or three minutes, and we're done. You don't want to overcook fish. So I've got my salmon going ahead, then I've got my mushrooms, quick saute on those. Okay, and this is a mixture of oyster mushrooms and mataki. So I love to serve this with, and I like to use the tomatoes fresh, right? No cooking needs to be done on those. So you can see we're just letting everything kind of finish up, and then we'll plate that. These are Meyer lemons. Okay, they're great. They're a little bit sweet, so you can actually reduce the sugar. And so here, what I've done is taken these berries and let them thaw and cook them down just a little bit and squeeze the juice out of them. Okay, and then like I said, I've heated the juice here, and I'm slowly just going to whisk that in. It's, um, you want to temper it in, like, you know, when you're making other custards and curds, just so that you don't burn those egg yolks. Once we've got all the juice in, I'm going to return it back to the stove just long enough so it starts to thicken. And this is the point where you don't really want to walk away, okay, and you want to keep it stirring. Well, girls, I am starving now. I've watched you cook all of this. The color, it's expressive. Isn't it beautiful? There's so many colors, and there are different benefits to all these different colors, so eating them all yeah. together is a superfood meal. Kimberly, what yes. do you think? I love it. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed putting all this together. Like you said, the colors, not only because they're great for you, but it makes your presentation very beautiful. I think it looks gorgeous. Yeah, it well, girls, I really appreciate you. you all coming in here. This Thank looks you. all so fabulous and so important that people at home know that superfoods don't have to be boring. They can actually be quite delicious. If you want to find out more about these recipes and information about the show, please visit our website at theyoungeryou.tv and I'll see you next week. Next week on The Younger You, we're talking about tummy tucks and watching as Jody undergoes his stomach tightening procedure. The Younger You set provided by Madison McCord Interiors.